We're going to show you how to replace or repair the keyboard mechanism for compact keyboards. What you will receive is a rubber spring cup and the key parts. Depending on your purchase, you may or may not have the key cap included with your order. If you do, the clip must be removed from the back of the key before the parts can be installed. If you only receive the clip hardware, you may skip the section and move on. What you'll need to do is flip the key over to reveal the plastic parts underneath. Now you need to get a small tool, such as a precision screwdriver, and gently disconnect the clip from the back of the key. You get between the clip and the key cap, and remove the parts. Now we're going to show you how to assemble the clip to the keyboard base. Before you do this, you want to make sure that the clip is rotated and flipped in its correct position to go onto the keyboard base. You want to observe the clip and see how you have a taller piece of plastic here and a shorter piece of plastic here that's disconnected with two feet on either side. These two feet down here are going to slide underneath these metal tabs here. There are little holes cut out in the metal for these feet to go into. This piece here on the top is a small bar that is going to slide under this piece of metal here. To make sure that it is flipped in the correct direction, you want to observe the clip this way. You'll see ridges in the plastic here, and this plastic bar here is more visible. This plastic bar on the top needs to be as toward to the base of the keyboard as possible to slide underneath this metal tab. This is the clip in its correct position again. What we're going to do first is slide this plastic bar underneath this piece of metal. Then we're going to put these two feet inside these two metal holes here. Here's a plastic bar going underneath the piece of metal. Now you want to get the left foot in this metal hole here and then do the right one. You're going to have to use a small tool like this. This may take a little bit of practice, but it's not too difficult once you do it. Now the clip is attached on all three sides. If your rubber spring cup has been removed from your keyboard, now is the time to replace it with the one provided. The last step is to put the cap onto the keyboard. You'll want to place the cap equal distance from its surrounding keys, push on diagonal corners, and you'll hear the key cap snap into place.